I grew up not doing well in school. I was labelled and tagged by my parents and the school as a youth at risk. Uh, I had a very hard time growing up in a conservative Asian family where emphasis was really placed on academics. One day I asked myself, what did I want to do in life? Was that the life that I wanted or was it something else? I decided then that I would pursue what I felt my purpose in life was and I spent the next five years discovering that purpose. I first met Ian when he came over from Singapore. We were looking for someone to move into a house. Something about Ian and myself, I guess, it just picks up very naturally, our whole conversation. And even one week into knowing one another, it feels like we have known one another, we have been mates for ages. So Leon was my first housemate when I moved here. He was kind of like a bigger brother to me. Ian came to me at six, pitching the idea that he wanted to start a laundry product company. I think it was when I discovered my purpose that it didn't matter who I was compared to. I think that comparison rocked me of joy, the joy that I could have had or, or things that I could have done if I didn't always compare myself to others. And I understand that we are all different. I have a lot of friends who are labelled handicapped. I have a very good friend, Rina, and she is the sweetest lady that I, that I know and she lost her, her eyesight in her prime years and that destroyed her life. She lost her career overnight, she lost the chance to support her family, her elderly parents and she was not accepted by society. When I met Rina and I heard her story, I, I, I tried to put myself in, in her shoes and I tried to feel how she would be feeling and it really compelled me to feel that if I'm not okay with it, then it's not okay. There's something I needed to change. And if I can't change it by myself, I'll build a team, I'll build a mission, a purpose to, to solve that issue. I believe in a creator and a calling in life. And I felt like if there are things that's been given to you, you are meant to be a good steward to manage it. And to me, I couldn't see a better way of doing that than to impact the lives around me. You ask me what the, the, the dream and the goal and the purpose of the founder is, it's really to build that, that business, that company that can fulfill our purpose. Uh, we're launching a few new products in the next few years. What it looks like is we're trying to penetrate the global denim market, but at the same time, we're trying to remove the stigma from hiring workers with disabilities by hiring them, training them, empowering them and showing the world that it's okay for a global business to hire someone who is not seen as productive, be productive and be the best version of themselves. I believe that we're not created equal. We, some of us have more and some of us have less. But we have more and less so that we can share and live in community. That's what I believe.